Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the language settings of your Adobe Acrobat. So whether you are using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC Pro, whichever Adobe Acrobat PDF Reader that you are using and you would like to change the language settings, I will help you do that. For instance, I speak both French and English, so sometimes when I'm making a video on Adobe app in, let's say, French, I probably would want to change the language from English to French. It's not yet limited to English and French. If you are speaking Spanish, you may want to change the language to what? Spanish or Turkish or Russian or Chinese or, I mean, English, you know, uh, Korean, whichever language that you want to use. Who knows? Probably Swahili. Chui, which is a Ghanaian language. I'm not sure these languages may be there, but please know that there are a lot of languages, German, a lot of languages that you can actually take advantage of. So if your your Adobe app is currently in, let's say, English, and you want to switch to any of these languages, or if it's in Spanish, and you want to switch to English, whichever that you want to do, I will help you out, okay? It's very simple. First of all, you have to open the Adobe app, okay? And to open the Adobe app, if you have the shortcut on your desktop, simply double click on it. A quick way to also open the Adobe app in case you don't have the shortcut on your desktop will be what? Will be just, if you have a PDF file on the desktop, simply right click on it, and then click on any PDF file at all, and then click on open with. I'm sorry, my PC, my PC is in French, so ouvrir avec means open with so open with adobe acrobat reader dc so it's still a way of opening the app okay now once you open the app you simply come and click on edit here and then you go down and click on what preferences now when you click on preferences you see that we have different categories here make sure you come and click on what language and when you click on language make sure you click on this so you see that the current the, the current lang application language is english if i want to change it to any other language then i have to click on this drop down menu and i have two options over here i could either uh, choose the language of my operating system in my case my operating system is in french so if i should choose language of my operating system it will switch to french but I probably don't want to switch it to the language of my operating system. If I don't want to switch it to the language of my operating system, then I have to choose uh, choose at application startup. And then you click on what? OK. Now, when you do this, you can close your app, your Adobe app. OK. And after that, you can try to open your, your um, Adobe app again. So it's either you come and double click on the shortcut or once again, if you have any PDF file on your desktop, you want to, you can just open it, right click on it, click on open with Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, for instance, and then it will op automatically open the app or you could have also double click on the shortcut on your desktop. It's the same thing. Now, since I instructed Adobe to allow me to choose my preferred language at the application startup, you realize that once I started the application again, it gave it prompted me to choose my preferred language. So I can click on this drop down menu here and then select my preferred language. Now it's very, very important to note that your preferred language may not be in this drop down menu. Why? Because this language was not or has not been installed during the app the, your adobe app installation process by default when you are installing your adobe app you have the choice to install all these languages but you probably just skipped so you have to reinstall them but let's assume i want to switch to spanish then i just click on spanish and i click on ok okay but in a so if i want to let's main, keep it still in english and i just click ok but if I want any language at all that is here, but in a case where the language that you want, maybe you wanted Turkish and Turkish is not here, 
or Russian Russian is not here how do you install it I'll show you how you can do that so at the moment let's leave it in English and I'll show you how you can install uh, any language of your choice in case that language is not there okay so it's still in English and once again just click on edit come to preferences uh, make sure you select language come and select let's say choose at application startup click OK close your app and now let me show you how you can install additional languages now to install additional languages in case they don't show your the, your preferred language does not show up at the application startup to install additional languages you have to go to your control panel how do you go to your control panel you could either come to your uh, Windows search box on your text tax bar and come and search for control panel or a quick way of going to your control panel is to simply press the Windows key and R to okay together so just press Windows key and R this way and then you type here control and then hit OK now this opens your control panel now once it opens your control panel come and click on programs and features now come and click on what programs and functionalities or oh, sorry uh, sorry initially we clicked on programs simply and now you come and click on programs and features in, in French is programs and functionalities okay and now over here you will find your Adobe app so we have your Adobe app here just click on it to select it this way sorry just click on it to select it and then or highlight it and then you click on modify I'm sorry modify here is in French means modify so click on modify and once you click on modify click on next next in French is suivant so next make sure you select modify again and click on next and now when you click on next you you see here languages okay so come and click on this plus here beside languages click on plus and then over here you will see all the languages that showed earlier on during the application startup so english showed up uh, German showed up you know Spanish showed up all these languages showed up why because that's why you don't have this red cross when you see a red cross on a particular language here it means this particular language has not yet been installed okay so if I want to install a preferred language of mine let's say I want to install Russian okay so I simply click on this drop down menu and I select what um this function will be installed to my local disk or this app will be installed to my language whatever will be installed to my local disk in french set function so i install it among this local or whatever so once again you select this let's assume i want to pick which other language any language of your choice if you want the ukrainian you click here select this and it will be installed if you want to install Turkish, you do same. Let's assume I want to install um, Finnoas, you know, the uh, Finland language of Finland or whatever. Italian is already installed. Let's assume I want to or Turkish or whatever. Danish language, Danua in French. So you click here and click on set function so I install it or what this function will be installed on my local disk or whatever local drive. And then you just click on install so all your preferred languages will be installed this will take just some few seconds so please wait
okay once the installation is done simply click on terminate or end you can close this dialog box and now um, try opening your Adobe app again as usual if you have a PDF file on it right click on it and click open with Adobe Acrobat Duria DC or if you have the shortcut on your desktop simply double click on it so let's assume I want to have an, a PDF file on my desktop I probably don't have the shortcut on my desktop so I try to give you all the possibilities simply open it with Adobe and once again it will ask me to choose my preferred language so if I click here you realize that we added Russian now Russian has shown up if I want to pick Russian I can just pick Russian Italian has also shown up all the newly installed languages I remember we installed Dutch or whatever Dansk all of them are here okay so you can now choose your preferred language let's assume I want to choose French so I simply select French and hit what okay and now my Adobe language has switched from English to French if I had wanted Russian Korean whichever language then you would have just done that anytime you want to go back for instance now it's in let's say it's in what now it's in French if I want to go send it back to maybe Korean all I have to do is simply come and click on edition come to preferences come and click on language click here and select choose at uh, application startup you know it's in French choisi au lancement de l'application I just click on OK now close the app try to launch the app by opening it either if you have the shortcut just double click on it or if you have a PDF file try opening it click on the drop down menu here and select your preferred language maybe Russian I just click OK and you realize that my Adobe app has changed to what Russian thank you so much for watching and this is how you can actually change languages in what Adobe please subscribe